Back in the old days, everyone thought there was only one good way to get filthy rich. And that method was fighting dragons. Where you buy backpacks filled with summoning eyes, and then join parties that also have backpacks filled with summoning eyes. You then place them and spawn a dragon that can vary from old to superior. This variant determines how much money you get from each dragon fight. You will either go broke, or get hundreds of millions every week. But there was another way to get hundreds every week. A method generally looked down upon. This was covered in the luckiest and unluckiest player video, but we will be going more into depth here. Auction flipping. Where you try to buy items for a low price. And you resell them for a higher price. This relied less on luck and more on how well you understand the market, most efficient times to buy and sell, and so on. This also had a lower risk. Whereas dragons can doom your future, reselling items on the auction house usually results in you breaking even or making profit, if you know what you're doing. Besides, you can just get an alt account to save the price. Unfortunately. This method is sort of dead now. Bin auctions appeared. Minimum outbid rates were decreased. But back in the old days, a certain few mastered this technology. Getting billions of coins back when it was an insane flex. And we will be exploring those people today. At first, very few amounts of people knew the strategy, with less than 10 people being aware of auction flipping and keeping the strategy secret. While almost everyone knew about dragons and obtained dragon loot, the few auction flippers took advantage of them. With some desperate dragon fighters mass selling their loot, allowing auction flippers to take advantage. One such group of people, brought to my attention by EXE Wisp, did this. Although not well known, they seem to be the fathers of auction flipping. Ex Lisa. Otherwise known as Ranked Cheater. Apprenticed. Mutefi. And a few others. Putting a few hundred million coins into auction and getting billions back. Even hitting the integer limit. While the well-known dragon fighters boasted their wealth and had fanboys. The quiet auction flippers who leached off their loot, might have been richer. Unfortunately, these people have quit. But the method would not die just yet. Mutefi, one of the most well-known auction flippers, released his strategy to the public. After making 700 million coins by November, he probably got bored and let others know what to do. Making more than 10 million coins every day. The second wave of auction flippers, which included me because I was a fanboy, arrived. I don't have many screenshots of them, but you have probably heard these names before. Kalsin. A Sword. Kevch A. My Kwan. I Nerd. And Fear My Tear. Bidding on massive amounts of superior dragon armor and aspect of the dragons. Some auction flippers bid on the auctions of auction flippers. Some people got annoyed by the massive amounts of items that had been lowballed. Some people took it an extra step. The guy I mentioned earlier, Mai Quan, bought clean aspect of the dragons, enchanted them, and then resold them. It took more effort, but it guaranteed more profits. And if you were try hard enough, you would buy an alt account and store maybe a few hundred million coins on it. You would then use the alt account to lowball all the items you are selling, so that no other auction flipper can lowball your items and take it for themselves. This also set a minimum bid without having to pay the minimum bid tax. But of course. What is a trend without a disastrous accident? The mistake of accidentally bidding an extra digit usually spells catastrophe. This has happened about three times as far as I know. Beporin. Kalsin. And a sword. And what is a trend without a slow and painful death in which everyone mocks the people who are involved in the trend? There have been countless people who despise the auction flippers, mostly for lowballing their items so they made less money. Today, everybody uses bin auctions, and normal auction flipping ceases to exist. Bizarre flipping also exists, but it isn't as cool because first of all, you could lose hundreds of millions at once. Unless. Auction flipping still exists in some capacity. I know I said it didn't exist anymore but I think Teresa way. Introducing. The auction flipping bot. No way. There is just no way. Easily find items to flip and gain profit easily. 
Use this enough times and eventually the market will crash from the amount of new auction flippers. And when everyone is an auction flipper, nobody will be an auction flipper. But anyways, here is how you use it. Click on the link in the description. You will then be prompted to add the bot to your server. Then type the following command, how much you are willing to spend, and the amount you want to earn. And success. If you want to see the main server to ask questions or post memes in general, use the invite link in the description. Anyways, that's all I have to say for today. Goodbye.